some grammars have been given to us, we have to convert these grammars into deterministic grammar. First question we shall see here, AS is producing B, S, S, A, A, S, R, B, S, S, A, S, B, R, B, S, B, R, A. We have to apply left factoring here. B, S, B, S, B, S. This is the common prefix. In these productions, so I will take this this B S common, then I will write S produces B S S dash. Then S dash will produce this is the remaining part S A A S or in this this is there is S A S B and here it is B and here is remaining here so I am writing here now we can see here S A S A this is common so I will write for this production S dash is can be written as S A because S A is common S A S double dash or B nothing is common here so I am writing B as it is now S double dash can be replaced by A S because this is remaining in this part and here S B is remaining so I am writing S B here so the, this uh, whole grammar which is deterministic can be written as S is producing B as S dash or A and S dash can be written as S A S double dash or B and S double dash can be written as A S or S B. So this is the deterministic grammar for this first grammar. Now we shall see deterministic grammar for the second grammar which is given as S is producing A S S B S or A S A S B or A B B or B. Okay, now I can easily see here this A, this A, this A is common in three productions. So I will take this A common, I will write A as dash or B because this A is common. B is remaining, so B, I am writing B as it is. S dash can be written as this part, remaining part, S as B as or S A S B this part or this B. Okay, now I can see here S is common here. So I will take this S common. So S dash can be written as S S double dash and S double dash can be written as this remaining part S B S. S B S or A S B. Yes. This part is remaining, so I'm writing as it is in this production. S dash can, can produce it. Now the deterministic grammar can be written as S is producing A S dash or B and S dash is producing S S double dash or B B. And S double dash can be written as S B S or A S. These are the deterministic grammar 
for these two grammars. Now we shall convert this grammar into deterministic grammar. We can see here A is common in all productions. S can be written as A S1. The remaining part S1 can be written as this remaining part BCD in this production and in this production BC and in this production B and for this production it will be S1. And now we can see here B is common. So S1 can be written as B S2 because this epsilon is here so I am writing epsilon as it is and this S2 can be written as because B was common. So I took B from here and for S2 in this production it is CD and in this production it is C and in this production it is epsilon and here I can see here C is common. So S2 can be written as C S3 or epsilon and S3 can be written as this D from here and this epsilon from here. Okay, so the whole grammar can be written as S producing AS1 and S1 is producing S1 is producing B S2 or epsilon and this S2 is producing C S3 or epsilon and this S3 is producing B or epsilon. This is the deterministic grammar corresponding to this grammar. Now we shall convert this grammar into deterministic grammar. We can see here. A is common here. Here A is common. Nothing is common here. So we shall convert it as is producing. This A is common. So I am writing A as dash. For as dash, this is the remaining part. AD here. So I am writing AD. And here it is B. So I am writing. For this production, A is common here, so I am taking A common, A dash. For A dash, for this production, I will write epsilon because A has already been taken epsilon. For this production, I will take B. And for B, nothing is common, so I am writing C, C, D or D, D, C. This is the deterministic grammar for this grammar. This grammar. Now I will take another grammar. S is producing I E T S or I E T I E T S E S or A and E is producing. Now, you can see here, IETS is common, so I can take this IETS common, I will write here as IETS SH, and nothing is common here, so I will write A as it is, because it can be directly produced from S. Now, S dash. For this production, S dash will be epsilon because whole uh, prefix is common here. So I will write epsilon. And for this production, I will write E S. And for E, I will write E producing B as it is because nothing has to be done here. So this is the deterministic grammar correspond corresponding to this grammar. S is producing CAD. Nothing is there because there is single production here. A is producing AB or A. A is common here. So we have to write here. S is producing CAD and 
A is producing A, I can write A dash here and A dash is producing for this production it will be B and for this production it will be X. So this is the deterministic grammar corresponding to this grammar.